Welcome to the boss fight. We're going to be uh, staying in Gotham for this one. So, uh, you know, just kind of stretch your legs, feel out what, uh, you know, stretch your little Gotham brains, you know, stay in the DCU. Um, pretty simple question this time, but I'm going to go first because I know when I've thought about it a little bit before, it gives you guys a couple minutes to warm up. I'm going to put six minutes on the clock and um, I just want to know... Uh, who you guys think the best Joker of all time is? Oh. So um, that's why I give you a couple minutes to warm up. It's why I'm going to go first. So my brain, uh, and this is gun to your head, by the way. This question is gun to your head. Someone has a gun to your head. You have to answer this. There's no stalemates. So I have to unfortunately eliminate Mark Hamill for me. Um, even though I love all of his performances as Joker, he is the perfect Joker voice in my opinion. Um, however. Um, all of the animations, how incredible they may be, fall short because they don't have the immersion of, say, Heath Ledger or Joaquin Phoenix. Um, I unfortunately am, am not, uh, I'm not old enough or into ret um, uh, old, older films to appreciate. Um, George Romero. Thank you. Yeah, George Romero. Um, so I can't appreciate that myself. Uh, so it does sort of come down to the big screen for me, the later big screen. And, uh, in, you know, and I'll let you guys talk, so I'll finish it quickly for me. Uh, I, I've, I've seen The Joker three times now, and I paid to see it twice. Um, I know it's a standalone thing, and I know that Heath Ledger is an icon, and I know all of these Jokers are incredible. Um, hey, I even thought Jared Leto was cool, but he's certainly not the greatest. Uh, I thought Joaquin Phoenix was perfect. That movie gave me chills for about a week or two. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So for me, um, you know, I only know he only did The Joker once, but... It's going for Phoenix for me. Joaquin just fucking killed it. I like that iteration the best for me. Mm. Sort of. I would have to say Jack Nicholson, bro. To be honest, that's I think, that, that's what. It, yeah, Jack yeah, Nicholson. I think that's my favorite. I mean, just the fact that he was probably not well, not the first because of George Romero, but I mean, oh, in terms I'm, of like, I'm sorry, C Cesar Romero. I made a mistake. C oh, Caesar, 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 Caesar Romero. Yeah. Says that okay. There, no, I, I, I mean, he, yeah. I, I mean, I wasn't bad. old enough to see him, but. I felt like Jack Nicholson in terms of like the cartoons and all that stuff was like pretty accurate in terms of like the the costume. Um, even just like he's just a crazy dude in real life, dude. Like he I feel like he he was born to play that part no matter what, because like you talk to Joker, stays, you talk to right? Jack Nicholson, it's he stays the same, man. Like you see him in the Lakers game, bro. <laughs> it's the same thing. He just does not yeah. give no Fs whatsoever, dude. It's like um, naturally crazy. Yeah, dude. Like and he was perfect for that. And just and, like Jared Leto. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think he was the weaker one out of all of them, to be honest. But that's that. I can guess we can do that for another topic. But to me, it's gonna have to be Jack Nicholson, just because uh, I like the Tim Burton Batman's. Um, he portrayed he portrayed it in terms of like accuracy wise. It was it was on par, and he's just a, he's just a crazy mofo on screen and off screen too. So I have to give it to him. I cannot believe guys, you didn't say Heath Ledger. Like you guys are yep. crazy. And my, mine is Heath Ledger. I'm gonna explain you why. To me. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix was the better actor, but to me, Joaquin Phoenix was playing Arthur uh, Fleck. Fleck, Fleck. That's right? fair. That's that, that's, that's completely that, fair. That was that was what he was portraying. He's not even the Joker all the way until the end, and even then, it's a very very young version of the Joker. So he's he he hasn't had that that build up. I believe uh, Heath was already. Trans I mean, he, he was the Joker. The transformation happened a long time ago. He was the, the real deal. Uh, so to me, he, he did the best impression of the Joker. Uh, he, he actually, not only that, he actually renewed the impression of that Joker because for the most part, we were used to, to this cartoony side of Joker. Uh, he just grounded it to a level that, that, that no, no one else has. Like moving forward, like when you think about the Joker, it's really hard for you not to have a hit ledger image in your head like like that that how, that's how powerful his, his his take was uh my best second i'll say is joaquin but you know what uh yeah you got me man i'm gonna change my answer um i'm gonna change my answer in a different type of way the best joker is heath ledger uh, i think you're right and i agree with your point and and many other and, and plenty of others that would be said however i do still think the best uh the best 
piece of content that had the Joker in it is 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 the movie The Joker. No, yeah, movie. no, that's yeah. That, 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 that movie was a work of art. Like if we judge by a movie, yeah, I mean, that's the best Joker movie, the best movie that Joker was in. But performance wise, if you just separate everything, the movie, the concept, and just go by raw performance, Hit Ledger. Mark Hamill is also up there for me. Yeah. Um, it's also cool that all of these are great jokers in general. Um, yeah. I do think everyone has a firm opinion, and we do have a minute left. So uh, with that minute, I actually I actually do want to talk about uh, Jared Leto. Um, I thought he was <laughs> – let's make it a like a mini, mini boss fight. You didn't know the boss fight was over. He comes in at the end. The hell part is <laughs> finished. I thought Jared Leto was the best part of Suicide Squad. I think he had maybe five minutes. Was it five, six minutes of screen time? Totally, yeah. Um, he acted like a weirdo offset, but his acting was cool, and he was a cool Joker. And you can argue with me in the fucking comments. He was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, man. At least with me, you're not going to find any any arguments. Like, that movie was awful. So, yeah, he was the best part of that movie. The for best sure. part. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that movie, man. It's just, it's just like it was all over. We're the talking place. about Jared Leto, not Suicide Squad. Yeah, but but yeah, but I mean, like, like he he shined like by a lot because of that movie was just pure garbage. I, I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to say it any other way. That movie was just a mess, and he was to happen to be in it. Manny, what do you think think about Jared Leto? We got five seconds. I mean, he shined out of the whole whole movie, but he's still one of the weaker ones for me, to be honest, in terms of playing a Joker wise. D tier Joker. Thank you guys so much for uh, being a part of the boss fight. (laughs) Woo, we're done. Thank you for listening. If you, uh, I don't know if this was isolated as its own episode or if you made it to the end. And if you did, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. Uh, Thank you to Manny and Will. You guys say your goodbyes. Take it easy, guys. You guys have a good night. Stay safe out there. Thanks for listening. Click subscribe.